The way Samsung is rolling out One UI 8 is raising eyebrows for all the right reasons. We're used to seeing new software hit the flashy $1,000 flagships first. But this time, Samsung turned the tables and the mid-range lineup, the Galaxy A series, is stealing the spotlight. That's right, not only the Galaxy S23 series, but also the Galaxy FE4, A55, A35, and A36 are now getting early access to Android 16 through the One UI 8 beta program. And if you think this is just another routine beta, you might want to think again. Because hidden inside these builds are clues about Samsung's long-term strategy. A strategy that could change the way updates are delivered across every Galaxy device. Welcome back viewers, Sam here. If you're enjoying the breakdown so far, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and share it with your friends. It really helps keep the channel going, and you won't miss the next big updates we're digging into. Now, let's talk numbers for a second. The Galaxy A54's beta weighs in at around 2.3 GB, while the A55's is just shy of 1.9 GB. Meanwhile, the A35 and A36 are both around 2.2 GB each. On the surface, those sizes may just look like file weights, but they actually tell us something deeper. Larger packages often include heavier system optimizations, reworked code, or hidden frameworks for upcoming features. The smaller ones usually indicate that the device's architecture is being streamlined, that Samsung is experimenting with more efficiency. In short, the company isn't just testing Android 16 on these phones. It's testing how lightweight and flexible One UI can become for devices with different levels of hardware. That's important because the Galaxy A series is Samsung's bread and butter. These phones outsell the flagships by a wide margin. If Samsung nails smooth performance and AI-driven features on mid-range devices first, it sets the stage for a more universal experience one where your phone's price tag doesn't limit its ability to keep up with modern software. Think about how big that is for years, budget, and mid-tier phones lag behind in updates, but this beta proves that Samsung is actively closing that gap. Now here's where it gets exciting. One UI 8 isn't just about a new coat of paint. Early testers have already spotted smarter multitasking tweaks, a more fluid animation system, and Galaxy AI hooks that are working deeper into apps you use every day. Features like contextual suggestions, better background memory handling, and upgraded security tools are being folded into the daily workflow. But here's the catch. Samsung isn't shouting about all of this yet. That's because these features are still being fine-tuned and your feedback as a beta tester is shaping the final product. It's like getting early access to a movie while also being asked to influence the ending. Joining the beta is ridiculously simple. Open the Samsung Members app, log in, tap the One UI Beta banner, agree to the terms, and you're in. No factory reset, no wiping your data, just an OTA update that starts rolling out once you're enrolled. And while yes, bugs are inevitable, apps might crash, battery life could dip, and certain features may act up, that's part of the adventure. You're essentially co-developing the software alongside Samsung's engineers, and that's something we rarely see mid Range users get the chance to do. But let's zoom out for a moment. Why is Samsung moving so aggressively with these devices? One reason could be pressure. Brands like Xiaomi, Oppo, and Vivo have been shrinking the update gap on their mid-range devices, offering faster rollouts and promising longer software support. Samsung knows it can't afford to let its global dominance slip, especially in markets like India, where the Galaxy A series is a volume king. Expanding one UI 8 beta to these models early sends a clear message Samsung is listening, and it's playing offense, not defense. There's another clue in the timing. The Galaxy S25 Fan Edition is the first S-series phone to ship with one UI 8 out of the box. That's not a coincidence. It signals that Samsung wants stable builds to land much closer to new product launches, shrinking the usual waiting game. If this pattern sticks, we might soon see stable updates roll out within weeks of major announcements, not months. And for mid-range users, that's massive. It could mean that next year, your A-series device won't feel like it's playing catch up. It'll feel like it's running alongside the flagships. Let's not forget the AI factor either. Samsung has been hyping Galaxy AI as the centerpiece of its software evolution, and this beta proves they're serious about democratizing it. It's not locked behind Ultra devices anymore. Features like smarter text suggestions, AI-enhanced photo editing, and even live translation tweaks are trickling down into the A lineup. That's a huge deal because it shows Samsung doesn't just want AI to be a premium feature. It wants it to be part of the everyday Galaxy experience. 
But here's the real cliffhanger. What happens when mid-range devices start shaping the software experience for everyone else? If A-series testers discover bugs or request certain changes, those same tweaks could end up baked into the stable build for the Galaxy S and Z series too. In other words, the feedback loop is shifting. Instead of the flagship setting the pace for everyone else, Samsung is letting mid-range voices influence the entire One UI 8 experience. That's a power shift no one saw coming. So what does this all mean for you? If you own a Galaxy A54, A55, A35, or A36, you're not just testing software, you're part of a bigger story about how Samsung is rewriting its update strategy. And even if you're not in the better regions yet, the fact that it's rolling out now means stable builds are closer than ever. It's no longer about waiting months for your turn, it's about when, not if. And that's why this rollout feels so different. It's not just a beta, it's a statement. A statement that Samsung is accelerating, experimenting, and betting big on its mid-range lineup. Because in the end, those millions of A-series owners worldwide might just decide how the future of One UI looks. So here's my question for you. Do you think Samsung is genuinely changing its update priorities, or is this just a temporary push to win attention before the next flagship launch? Drop your thoughts below. I'll be reading and replying. And if you're watching this on your A-series device, let us know how your beta experience has been so far. That's all for now. This is Sam, signing off. Stay curious, stay tech savvy, and I'll catch you in the next one.